think our world has a lot of uh, a lot of different views about what marriage is, but uh, it's important to think about what the Bible has defined as as wisdom for life, and specifically what the Bible has for marriage. I think the most challenging aspect of the book was his call to build uh, your house, your marriage house, and, and your life and relationships with wisdom. Just taking a look at wisdom and uh, building upon that, building a house upon that, Dr. Baker hits on it pretty hard in chapter one. Such practical wisdom about relationships and about uh, how to approach them and how to be godly and also be wise. I think what it, it really emphasizes is the importance of um, wisdom and how wisdom starts with fearing the Lord. And so you're looking for someone who fears the Lord, but you're also in your own heart fearing the Lord first. It revealed a lot of my own sin and um, really was specific on you're a sinner and um, you're both sinners when going into marriage and addressing that and not the other person as a problem, but your sin. Just having to change and realize that um, it wasn't so much a behavioral issue, but an actual heart issue, um, as uh, God talked about in Proverbs uh, 4, um, and realizing that all issues flow through the heart. How important it is, like your heart is what you, what you treasure, what you value, and so how can I, you know, make sure in all areas of my life that I'm valuing and treasuring God foremost. I recommend this book to anybody who wants to get wisdom. Whether you're married or unmarried, whether you're a high schooler or just, you know, teenager, college student. I was engaged when I read it and it was super helpful. Or even when you're married, I want to go back and read it. And uh, I think, yeah, I think it's applicable for anybody. Because of just how practical it is and the wisdom Dr. Baker shares in the book, I would definitely recommend this for anybody who's interested in relationships, whatever phase of life you're in. People who are college age are thinking about their future and are thinking about um, what kind of life they want to live and what kind of priorities they want to have in their relationships. There's so much hope. I have so much hope now. And I have so much hope that I can choose a spouse, I can be a wife and a mother um, that it, in, a, in a way that honors God fully and, and I don't 